Hello everyone and welcome to the follow-up uh, video from the uh, first advent vlog that I had done. Um, I was originally planning to do a follow-up uh, every week. I decided to just do two, so I'm going to do one for the first half of the month, which is this one, and then one for the second half of the month. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to the talking about the beers. So as you guys saw in the first one, there was a ton of different beers that were uh, part of this exchange and um, I have to say with 100% honesty that I've been astounded with the quality and the creativity of the beers. So first of all, um, I, even the worst, what I would call the worst, and I'm using that term just as a relative thing um, because there is no worst beer, it's just you know if you were to grade them the one even at the lowest ends of the spectrum are as good as what you would buy from um, a respectable microbrewery, which is astounding to me. Um, you know, I was kind of expecting that there might be a few duds in there, just because that's the nature of this kind of thing. Uh, you know, there, you have different levels of, of experience and skill and all that, but I've just been flabbergasted at how... Uh, you know, everyone is just really, really good. Um, it definitely challenges me to, um, you know, try new things and to improve myself to, to keep up with the caliber of people that we have brewing. So let's talk about the three. So I picked three. I decided to pick three um, of the top beers that I tried. Um, now, I can't go through all of them, but here, here's the top three that I personally enjoyed the most. Um, so... The first one was an English Mild that was brewed by Dave Morrison, and um, I'm going to have all the recipe uh, listed down below. All these people were kind enough to share the recipes, so I thought I'd pass them along to you guys. Um, so the first one's an English Mild, then there was a Raspberry Stout, which was brewed by Woody Stallings. Um, fantastic, fantastic beer, that one will be below. And then lastly was the Bad Vacation Hawaiian double IPA and that one was brewed by yeah Sean Williamson so um, those are the three so let me just talk really really quickly about these beers so I'm gonna have the tastings of the beers at the end of this video um, so the first one was the mild really really interesting flavor um, I would definitely say if you haven't brewed a mild or an English style before Definitely try this one out because I loved the flavor profile of this beer. Um, the second one was the Raspberry Stout. And what I loved so much about this one was that the raspberry flavor is just integrated so well with the dark dark chocolate notes. Uh, to where I think I say in the tasting that it reminds me very much of when you get those candy, uh, the like the chocolate covered you know, assortment and you have the one that's like the dark, dark chocolate with the raspberry inside, that's what it tastes like. Um, just like a spot on um, balance of everything, so, so good. And then the the Bad Vacation Hawaiian I, Double IPA, I love that one too because he uses a certain kind of hop, um, and if I remember correctly, so he uses Galaxy Hops, which in and of themselves, they kind of have a little bit of a pineapple-y note to them. But then he actually adds pineapple uh, to the beer itself um, in the keg. So I believe he's keg conditioning with the pineapple juice, um, which it just has, you have like the, the hop uh, character, but then you just have that like nice acidity and um, contribution from the pineapple that is just so good. I'm definitely going to be brewing that one in the summer because it's friggin' awesome. So yeah, I'm definitely brewing the mild and the uh, double IPA in the summer. I tend to drink lighter beers in the summer, but anyway, so those are the three uh, that we're gonna show you the tasting of. And as I said, the recipes will be down below. Uh, just to throw in a caveat, I'm not a professional taster, I'm not BJCP certified or anything like that. So you're getting kind of a layman perspective, but at the same time, I know what I like to drink. Um, and I can tell, I think, if a beer is bad, um, but I you know there is some subjectivity there, obviously. Um, what I like may not necessarily be what you like, but 
Um, at the same time, I hope you'll find the tastings at least somewhat beneficial. I try to describe the flavors that I'm tasting in the beer, and um, you know, you'll be able to see what the color's like and all that clarity and and uh, whatnot. And um, yeah, so I just want to I just want to say because the next vlog will be out um, probably in the new year that um, I hope you're all having a safe and happy holiday. Um, you know, spending time with family. Hopefully things aren't too crazy for all you guys. And uh, yeah, I wish you all uh, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, Kwanzaa, uh, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, or nothing, uh, you know, if you're just spending time with family. Um, you know, wish you guys safe travels and all that. And um, I hope you enjoy the tastings, and we'll see you in the new year. All right, and now we're going to sample a uh, beer brewed by Woody Stallings of the Hoser Group. Um, this is a raspberry stout. Uh, so I've got the bottle ready to go here. So we'll pour this out. Let's see what we get on the smell here. Notes of dark chocolate, for sure. I'm not really getting the raspberry on the, the smell at all, um, but let's dive into the flavor and see how it is. You can see the, it's got a little bit of a creamy head on there. Bottoms up. Ooh, wow. Oh, man. That is delicious. Um, wow. Mm. So you're hit up front with, like, the first thing you get on the taste is the the like chocolate cocoa uh you know roasted kind of coffee-ish notes from a stout then it like develops into this raspberry dark chocolate um if you ever get those candies um those like chocolate covered well I, raspberries um around christmas time um i mean i guess they're available anytime but uh, i associate them with kind of christmas uh type chocolate um you know those boxes things but anyway it reminds me of that like it's very it's really really good yeah this beer has an amazingly long flavor development to it it's really really quite astounding um uh this is a, a really really fantastic beer um and this this in particular really makes me think about using doing some kind of beer with a fruit addition in the near future um whether it's a stout or, or whatnot but yeah fantastic so woody stallings from the hoser group hats off to you sir because this is a magnificent beer and um wow all i have to say is it's it's just amazes me that um you know, uh, the, uh, I'm, you guys are going to get to see all the beers that I'm tasting, but everything I've tasted so far is just as good or better than what you can buy from, obviously, the big breweries, but even, like, the good microbreweries that I know, that I, you know, I'm a, a big fan of, it just goes to show you that you don't have to be huge, you don't have to have amazing equipment to make something that is utterly incredible and delicious. So, cheers. And now we're going to sample a uh, beer brewed by Dave Morrison from the SOBs. Uh, this is a mild, 2.9% uh, there. That's the uh, little tag he's got. He actually, this is kind of neat, I never even thought to do something like this. He's actually just got a, an old style Coke bottle. Um, yeah, really cool. So let's pour this one out. And I don't really know much about this beer other than the fact that it's 2.9% ABV, but Let's uh, let's see what it's like. So 
So you can see, despite being a, a mild, I'm not super familiar with this beer style, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's much darker than I, I would have expected. Um, but maybe that's typical for a mild, I'm not sure. Um, this is a style that I have yet to really explore much with uh, my own brewing, but... Um, oh, wow, that's really interesting. The aroma's almost got like a uh, Fruit Loops kind of cotton candy. Almost like a little bit of a sweet tart kind of thing going on. Really interesting uh, aroma. Hmm. Well, bottoms up. Cheers, guys. Let's see how it tastes. Wow. Wow, that is very uh, different than... That is really interesting. So yeah, that... It's kind of difficult to describe, but it's almost a... A kind of candied, uh, like Fruit Loop, kind of cotton candy-ish note, almost. But it's not overly sweet, like there's definitely, you get, the, there's quite a lot of maltiness in the flavor, a um, little bit of hot bitterness, but then you get that kind of candy-ish uh, thread that runs its way through this beer. Um, wow, this, this is very unlike anything I've ever had before. Uh, fascinating. It's such a cool flavor, like it's so interesting. It's so different. Uh, and again, I'm not sure if this is typical of a mild. This is something I'm gonna have to talk to Dave about, but wow, what a beer. It's very not what I was expecting, but utterly delicious. That is really, really cool. So that is the, again, the uh, Mild 2.9 by um, Dave Morrison. Wow. Cheers, guys. There you have it.